Ladies and gentlemen, we have the star of Gilmore Girls, the star of Guardians of the Galaxy, part one and part two, Mr. Sean Gunn. Welcome, wherever you want. Gentleman's choice. And we also have with us the director of Guardians of the Galaxy, volume one and two, Slither, which is a super awesome movie, uh, super and lots of other cool things, Mr. James Gunn. For a lot of these young filmmakers, I wanted to ask you both, you know, how important is having a community um, as filmmakers and directors and writers to you guys? There you go. Um, it's, I think it's incredibly important. I mean, I think that, you know, I cut my teeth on making, um, you know, very low budget student films. I started making films when I was 12 years old, starring him getting, you know, disemboweled by zombies. Um, and, uh, and, and having that group of people around you is the only way you can learn how to become a filmmaker. And success really is a result of repetition, of doing something again and again and again and again and learning how to do it. So by crafting a community of people around you who you can create with, uh, it, it makes it a lot easier to learn filmmaking. Yeah, I want to echo that. I, and I, I, I tell that to people all the time who ask me, um, you know, how do I, how do I get in? How do I get a foot in the door? And one thing I say is in addition to work, 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 keep working on your projects and finish your projects, but also, you know, uh, surround yourself with a community of people whose work that you admire and people that you enjoy being around um, because all of you will start to pull each other up slowly. It's not, you can't, you're not just gonna walk in and find somebody at the top who waves his finger and pulls you, you know, pulls you up. Austin and LA and, and Atlanta being now a, a bigger place. Do you guys feel as though it is still you know, necessary to be in LA and for writers and directors, you know, to, to For writers and directors, frankly, you know, necessary is is an, is an overstatement of it, but for writers and directors it's much much better to be in LA. I hate telling people that because people hate to hear it, but it's kind of like expecting you to get a job in the auto industry and living, you know, somewhere where there is no auto industry. Uh, to be a writer or a director, it's it's best that you're in LA. Writing's a little bit easier. Directing is very hard. But you know, if you make short films and you live wherever you do and you do that and you do it in an amazing way, there's opportunities. But you do find out that almost every single uh, successful director has lived in LA for at least you know a prominent portion of his his or her life. You talk about uh, you know am I a work all the time guy or not? The thing about being an actor is you don't have a choice. You know it's like you like sometimes you're not you're just gonna have downtimes. You're you uh, even if I wanted to work every day I couldn't. Um, and you have to be prepared for that. That's part of the that's part of the trick of being an actor is you have to be prepared for. Uh, for going a little nutty when you're not working as much as, as you would like. But to address the life experience thing, for me, it's less about the experience of going out, oh, I have to live this or have to live this. But what is crucial is that you have compassion towards other people and that you look at your fellow, uh, you know, <laughs> your fellow brothers and sisters on the planet Earth, that you're able to look at them with compassion and try to understand the world from their point of view. Um, that is the best tool that any actor can have, in my opinion, is to be able to understand human beings and how they behave and try, even when they can't, to try, because that's our job. Be open. Be open to what your personal gifts are. I do not believe we are in this world purely for ourselves. I believe we are in this world to serve other people. And I did not, I, thanks, thanks. But I, I, di I didn't, you know, when I was a kid, I wanted to be a rock star. I really, really <laughs> did. I played in bands, I made money at it, I was fine. But that, I, I knew I wasn't a great singer. That's what I wanted. And I know many of you in this room have some idea about what you want to be. But on that path of going towards that thing that you want to be, you may find a moment, an opportunity, where you are wonderful at something. And when you find that moment, cherish it and live it fully. 
because you may be better at something else and that thing you want to be. And that thing we want to be is outside of ourselves. It is not inside ourselves. And how it is for, seems for an actor to be glamorous or whatever, that's not what it feels like. What matters is what we do, the steps we take, and how we do it and how we treat our uh, other fellow human beings. So just finish what you start, be open, that's it. Excellent. So thank you. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.